Welcome, America and welcome to Larry King's Still Alive. Tonight we have fencing sensation Mark Brandybury of River City Fencing. We will be taking your calls later, but, now, let's get started after this word from Absolute Fencing. Are we back? Am I still alive? Oh, I mean are we back? Larry, it's okay. We are on the air. Oh, good. Tonight we are here with Mark Brandy Berry, fencing instructor at River City Fencing. Good to see you again, Mark. Thanks for having me here again, Larry. This is appearance number six for me. I'm beginning to feel like family. Well, Mark, I've been married five times. It's entirely possible you are family. Well, that coincides with the rumors I've heard about you playing the banjo and grinning at us. No, seriously, ask me something about River City Fencing. Oh, of course. This River City Fencing it's a private club, right? But there's no golfing and no bridge night? What is up with that? Larry, it's a fencing club. We teach Olympic-style fencing to people in the greater Lafayette area. All ages too. Our youngest is eight years old, and the oldest is, well, that's me. I'm 55. 55. Holy Moses, I have dental work older than that. How did you even get to the studio? Are you here with your parents? Larry, you know how I got here. You had your posse pick me up at the motel in that Chrysler LeBaron of yours. But speaking of parents, they are always welcome at River City Fencing. We have memberships for single fencers and a family plan too. Family plan? Oh, you mean like many of the mortuaries here in town? Larry, no. It's a fencing club. We have many younger fencers, but their parents can join in the fun. Fun? Sounds dangerous to me. Not at all, Larry. Fencing is one of the safest sports available. I've fenced for years without seeing any serious injuries and only a couple minor ones. Fenced for years? You must be exhausted. Well, Larry, we don't do it all at once. Fencing at River City Fencing is done a couple nights a week. Mondays and Wednesdays at Morton Center in West Lafayette. Go to rivercityfencing.org for more details. Hey, you know I used to fence. I didn't know that, Larry. When was that? In college. Or did you have colleges back then? Ha! Huh. Good one, Mark. Touché. No, I fenced during the Spanish-American War. Fought alongside Teddy Roosevelt. That was probably saber fencing. Saber fencing? You mean there's more than one kind? There are three weapons in Western-style fencing. Epi, foil and saber. River City Fencing teaches epi and foil. So what is the difference? I know that epi is an important word for when I'm working the New York Times crossword puzzle. Yes, of course. Well, the short story is that each weapon has a different target. Epi is the entire body. Foil is the torso and saber is from the waist up. You wouldn't want it from the waist down, that's for sure. Ouch, wow. Okay, so let's say I want to fence. I have to be a great athlete, right? Recreational fencing is perfect for nearly everyone. You don't have to be in great shape. It's like tennis in that respect. People of all ages and physical condition can enjoy the game. I know I played tennis when I vacationed with wife number three in the cat skills. Some of those older ladies are real hustlers. And I lost a bundle to Bobby Riggs. Well, we don't fence for money. Think of it as a game for ladies and gentlemen. River City Fencing promotes good sportsmanship and respect for one's opponent. That's why you don't get any time on the big three. They are hoping for a hockey fight. Well, I suppose that's true. Still fencing is fast and it can be very exciting to watch if you know a little about the sport. We are going to take a quick break. But remember next week our guests for the entire week is Snoopy Dog. Now this from Absolute Fencing. Are we back? What's going on? We are back, Larry. We are talking about River City Fencing. Oh, I think you mean Snoop Dogg will be here next week. Unless the Kennel Club is in town. Don't be ridiculous. 
It's some hoodlum who plays the loud music and burps into the microphone. You know, like that red-faced fella at Katz's Deli. Larry. Focus. Ask me a question about River City Fencing. River City Fencing. This fencing sport is it safe? You just asked me that before the break. Mark it off your list. Ask another. Oh, yes. This fencing. It must be very expensive. Not at all. Compared to many sports it is very affordable. A beginner's kit costs about $125. That includes a mask, glove, foil and jacket. Suspenders? If you buy knickers you could use those paisley suspenders of yours. You'd look very sharp at fencing if you pardon the expression. One hundred and twenty-five dollars? Have you seen my rating? I'm lucky not to be delivering pizzas in Boca. What's that you say about knickers? In tournaments you are required to wear fencing knickers. Knickers? Knickers? I haven't worn knickers since I used to golf with Rodney Dangerfield. You know he'd make a great fencer. Very sharp-witted that fella. Well, he'll get no respect from me. Larry, I think your production manager is giving you the light. We have to wrap up. I give the orders around here. Hey, I have an idea. Let's wrap up, but only if you promise to come back soon. Next time you're here tell me about your hobby. I hear you are a fencer. Yes, I am, Larry. And if people would like to learn more about River City Fencing they should go to rivercityfencing.org. We will be back with Steve Lawrence and E.D. Gourmet right after this. Nice job kid.